Hi everyone. I uh, hope you're all having a great day. Um, I just wanted to get on here real quick and um, just, just talk about uh, the last period I had with my social studies class. Um, so this morning, uh, me and a couple of my colleagues, we went on a bit of a school trip to, uh, to see Natia. Uh, Natia Primary and see what they're doing with their modern learning environment and the inquiry-based program and the student agency that they're creating and, and the, it was really cool to see the, the ownership and the, 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 the students taking over their own learning of creating their timetables of, of um, what they're doing, when um, and how that's supported by the teachers and the systems that they have there and so I, I came back here, started at 11.30 my, my period of social studies we were looking at growth mindset and um, I started watching the first video with my students. You know, I had this whole lesson plan all planned out, of step by step. They're all going to work through together, and uh, there was a bunch of videos. I was uh, writing a letter to a future person about what a growth mindset is, and they're making a poster at the end, which we're all going to share, um, so on and so forth. And it was all a you know step by step. You, I'll, I'll lead the class, and, and you, you follow what we do, and we'll work together on this. And I was reflecting that what we, what we saw at Natia Primary this morning and what I was doing was so different and where I wanted to be was much closer to what Natia Primary was doing with the student ownership, agency, um, freedom to choose what they're doing and where. Um, this is a, a classroom you see behind me with the um, with uh, bifolding doors. Um, there's, there's two classrooms here. And the first thing I did when I came in was like, all right, guys, shut the door. Okay, we're on the side. And then I realised that that's an opportunity missed because um, there's not a class here next door, so I was like, okay, first thing we'll do, open up the doors. We've got more space to work with, um, spread students out, and, and they work so much better with some space. Um, then I said, okay, guys, I'm going to change what I'm doing here. All right, I made a lesson plan, but we're not going to do that. Go away five minutes, find some videos on growth mindset, go and do that, okay? It'll give me a bit of time to think. So, all right, how are we going to change this? That was what I was thinking. Right, let's be innovative. Let, let's try and work towards what we want to be doing, not uh, just doing the same old, same old. And so what I did, what I did is like, what, what, uh, what I did was, um, it's on the board behind me. Uh, I got them all to come and sit down here. I know it's reverse, you guys can't actually, may not be able to read that, super easy. But um, um, I decided there's the three, three steps that we were going to be going through. Finding the information, creating something that um, shows that information, and then sharing it. We use Seesaw for, for our portfolios for that. Um, we went through that bit of a brainstorm of the different ways we could create things. So they had the option of how they created things. And then I said, all right, so what, what help do you need from me? Right. What workshops? I'll run three 10 minute workshops and what help do you need? Did a quick brainstorm on that and we came up with uh, three. Choosing the topic, um, how to make a video and the last one was um, time management okay, in case they feel like they're not going to make it on time. Um, and they were able to sign up to those and come and do it if they wanted to. Um, it ended up no one came to the choosing a topic one, they had no problems with that and the video thing, no one wanted to come to that either. They, they were super engaged. Um, and the last one, um, there's two people came to the time management one. There's like, right, how do I, how do I work this thing? I did a quick thing with him about um, writing down the times and, and the milestones and when they need to change things. That was really good. Um, but around this whole space, um, there were students that had chosen where they wanted to go. They, they were sitting in the on the floor. They were sitting at tables. They were sitting on bean bags, and and they were all engaged and working on the, all their different things. And I feel like the. The outcomes of, of that period were amplified by the way, way, way I did that, the way I, I allowed them to do it. Um, and if, if I had stuck with my original lesson plan, um, they all would have got similar things out of it. They would have made posters, would have been very similar um, uh, outcomes. Um, all, very, yeah, and, and what they actually ended up doing, I want, I want to show you some of these things and see if. <laughs> I'll see if this is going to work. So this is our seesaw feed. Okay, so this is a draw my life sort of uh, video clip someone made. Um, here's a, a short story a student made, um, supported by a photo, um, a rhyme, rap, poem sort of thing another student made, explaining growth mindsets. Um, there was a bunch of posters talking about them. Uh, they're all quite unique as well. Um, messages on a whiteboard sort of a video. Uh, another poster, poster. <clears throat> there's a slideshow a student made. Um, let's bring that up quickly. Okay, talking about different things with growth mindset. So I just, I just wanted to show that, that see the diversity and the uh, the depth that these students got to go in because they weren't held back by my preconceived lesson plan. Um, it was so refreshing to be able to 
I guess, free my mind and try and change that paradigm of, um, of traditional teaching and <clears throat> student -led uh, teacher-led classroom and be able to give it over to the students and trust that they were going to um, fulfil their end of the bargain that they wanted to learn, um, given the right structure and the right guidance and the right sort of um, things to do. Um, so I, I really like the fact that, that I gave myself permission to give it a go. Okay, I could have done the safe thing and just, just stuck with what I had planned. And it would have worked great. It would have been fine. No one would have judged me for it. But um, I, I'm really pleased that I gave myself permission to try out something new, to, to, to give it everything in. Because now I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite um, you know, inspired by, by this different way of doing things. I mean, I've, I've had two coffees today as well, which, which um, definitely helps my energy levels. And, and I'm definitely feeling quite amped at the moment. Um, but just the way I feel after doing something like this is, is, is invigorating, you know. It's why, I do, it's why I love the innovative side of teaching. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, thanks for listening to that, that, that short message about, um, uh, I guess, a little innovative moment I had today. Um, I'd be good to hear your thoughts. So catch up with you next time. All right, bye.